Okay, so let's look at the next scenario of what's um what's happening here. <clears throat> so the the issue here really is whether or not to advertise. And again, it's about trying to um sort of see the reality of what's taking place. Well, I mean, whether or not you advertise, the weather will hold. The weather will do what it's going to do. So if you advertise, well, chances are that it tells us there is a 60% chance that the weather will be poor and there's a 40% chance that the weather will be good. You can't change that. Now, again, um, the question now, or I guess the whole purpose of advertising is to sort of see if we can pull in more people due to poor weather or, you know, and then that's really the scenario. So there is, if you like, the information then goes on to say, well, if, as you can see here, if you're in your, and let's go again to your textbooks, it says that if the program is advertised. So you can see where we have all this whole if, if, if. These are all the chances. All the chances are at the ifs. Because that's really what we're saying. If the program is advertised and economic conditions are poor. So, let's come back here. We're just trying to represent what we're doing using this, um, this scenario. If the program is advertised, and the economic conditions are poor. So again, what do I do? I come here, I create my chance if the program is advertised and the economic conditions are poor. I will have two scenarios, really. That's what, what we're saying here. If it's advertised and the economic conditions are poor, um, two things will happen. And it gives you a probability again. It tells you that... Um, I believe it tells you if the program is advertised and the economic economy, there's a 65% chance that the advertising will bring in um, demand and the student number will increase to 50. So 65% chance, 65% chance that the um, economic conditions will be, or 65% chance that the advertising will bring in uh, more demand. So I need to represent that. Sorry, I'm trying to work with my screen here. Okay. That, where are you? Right. So, what is it saying? A 65, 0.65, that we will get 50 students. Now, that therefore means, if you like, that there is a 35% chance that there will be no increase in students. And we will pretty much stay at the scenario of, well, what would have happened if we just had 40 students, you know, because that's what we had when we said, well, if we hadn't advertised conditions were poor, we would have 40 students. Well, conditions, this is sort of saying advertising, give us these extra 50. Well, if the advertising doesn't work, where there's a 35% chance, we will just revert back to the 40 students that we would get. So we were pretty much saying you'll get an extra 10 students if you if you advertise. So in a way, you just need to sort of, I guess it takes a bit of practice. You just have to lean back a little and um, see what's going on. Then it goes on to tell you that, um, so that I stay on the same screen, um, you can just please look at your textbook. It tells you that if there is a 40%, uh, if the weather is good and you advertise, that there is a 25% chance 25% chance that you will get. So again, you know, I need to create this kind of the chance here. If it's a 25% chance that you will get 25 students. So that's an extra five students and a 75% chance that nothing will happen. That, that, that advertising will do, will do nothing. So we will just revert back to the normal 20 students that we were going to have. Okay. Um, and so that's how we 
arrive at our decision tree. So again, and we'll come back and do the EVs in the final video because I'll look in the, in the, we'll just take you to the textbook to look at how they've arrived. But the key point is that we have all these chances. I mean, we can label them A, um, B, whatever, C, and D. But the key point here is we're trying to finally arrive. But really, the focus really is about here and here. These two will bring us inwards and then we'll come, we'll, we'll give us, then we'll do the 60% of whatever we get here and the 40% of whatever we get here. What we get here has come from these two and these two feed into A and we'll work back to D and then we'll work with these two back to C and then we'll compare the two and then make a decision based on that um, in that scenario. So again, the thinking is try and break down the question to really see, to understand the bigger picture and look at your diagram to see if it matches or fits in with what the, what the story is actually saying. Um, and with a bit of practice, I think you, um, you, you'll get more comfortable. We're going to do a range of questions, so don't worry. Um, you'll practice this over and over again on big A3 paper, papers that I give you in class. Um, so yes, that will be, because I think this is probably already, okay, so this is still six minutes, but I'll, I'll end this video here. Just so just draw that diagram for yourself and just, you know, um, work through that, and then I'll come back and talk about profit in the final video on, on decision trees. Okay, great stuff. Thank you. See you then.